test one on enter name and password gives you maintenance access level where you're able to do anything you want. Once you go in here and you see the test one and maintenance and you hit OK. As you can see on the bottom of the screen where I have the mouse pointer, it tells you that it's communicating with the system. Then you go into system, go into pumping. Turn the pump on. Evacuate. Then you're just going to write down the wafer name. I'm going to just name it as bid. Then go under process. Go to recipe. Go under load. Or you're going to have to build a process, but I already have a process made, which I just, just call a bid to. Hit OK. And it's just very basic. I just want to let show you how each gas works and regulates and, uh, and how the RF works at different uh, gas pressures. So after you're done loading bid two down, then I'm going to hit run. And it says there's a wafer in there. I had to unclick the wafer thing. And right now it basically pumped down to a, under uh, 10 millitor really fast. And now it's going to gas Step number two, with gas five at 300 watts. So once you see the light coming on here, you'll tell, you can see that you have plasma in there and it's running at 300 watts. Let me put you back over to the screen and you can see that it's at 300 watts at zero reflective. Gas five's at 20 SCCM, which is indicated right here. Your mass flow is working correctly and your gas pressure's at 150 millitor in the chamber. It is running for 30 seconds, and you can see it's just about ready to time out right where the arrow's at. So then it's going to go to gas 4 at 40 SCCM at 80 millitor. Now you can see it's at 200 watts at 80 millitor with zero reflective and it's counting down for 30 seconds. It's going to do that for all three or all five gases. I'll back you up so you can finally see what between that and the chamber what it looks like. There you go. keep you on the screen so at least you understand that the whole thing is working at the right temperatures. Anytime you see the purple on there by the RF generator, you will have plasma and I'll show you back and forth just to show you that you do have plasma on every one. As you can see, this is gas 3 at 150 watts at 100 millitor. And now you're at gas 2. And that is at 50 SCCM, again 100 uh, millitor, and at 100 watts power. And it's right now at 100 mil, uh, millitor, so now the plasma just came on, which I can show you right here. is a very good plasma you have right there. least is your gas one at 30 SCCM, 50 watts of power at 100 millitor. And you can see I didn't have the timer on there set for 30 seconds, so it just went out, but you get the idea that it did work. And that is the end of process, and it's over with.